What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Weekly Reset Guide video. Now it's pretty awesome, this is the last time Iron Banner is going to be here for Season 3 before it drops for Forsaken, so you can go in and play Iron Banner. That is essentially the rotating playlist this time around. It's pretty awesome. 6v6 control, basically just like quick play, except only control, which is pretty awesome. So let's move on. Alright, Heroic Strike Playlist. Let's check out what the burn is this week. See, looks like we have Arc Singe, and then obviously these two modifiers change daily, so definitely rock in Arc Subclass and Arc Weapons, and you'll probably be the most efficient, so anything like Darcy or Warcliff Coil is definitely going to be able to do a lot of damage to bosses. Alright, let's move on to the Nightfall, looks like we have a Garden World, so uh, essentially going to be dealing with uh, mostly Vex and Cabal. Um, so I'd probably go with Arc Singe, especially for the final boss. I understand that some of the Cabal can have uh, those Arc Shotguns, but when it comes to the final boss, the thing has Void, does a lot of Void damage, plus all of the other Goblins and Harpies and stuff like that usually do Solar damage or Void damage, so I think Arc is going to be your best bet when it comes to completing this Nightfall Strike. Alright, let's go into the Flashpoint. It looks like the Flashpoint is IO this time around. Basically, complete public events, anything like that. Um, since, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, you had a little black spindle mission over here. I have it for my titan and my hunter, or whatever. But basically, complete public events and defeat high value targets here, and you'll eventually get that one done. Alright, let's move on to the prestige raid layers, see what those modifiers are this time around. See? And prestige. Boom, alright, looks like we have gladiator again. So melee kills buff weapon damage and weapon kills buff melee damage. So, essentially you'll have two perks right in the beginning. Uh, I'm pretty sure your melee damage does more, so get your melee, boom, dead. Uh, what's pretty cool is that once you get your melee, your magazine automatically gets refilled, so all of your weapons essentially get Grave, grave Robber, um, and then when your weapons do more damage, it's pretty cool. Once you get a kill with that weapon, it's pretty awesome. You get your melee back, right? You get that actual ability back, which is pretty awesome, so definitely very, very cool. Let's see what we have. Hand Cannon, SMG, and Grenade Launcher. This is going to be pretty interesting considering Hand Cannons and SMGs are very close range weapons. Grenade Launcher, um, this going to be this going to be pretty different to be honest. I mean, uh, I think we're going to be able to do a lot of good damage, especially with Gladiator on, especially when you have that extra weapon damage, especially with Grenade Launchers to be pretty solid as well. All right, I think that's it for the director. Let's go to the tower and check out the vendors. All right, we're here with Kay. Let's check out his treasure maps. All right, since the Flashpoint is IO, these are all going to be IO treasure maps right here. All right. Let's pick these up and see where they are. You can pick up the scout report if you want to find some of those extra loot caches, maybe for some extra IO tokens or some glimmer. Let's see where they are. I see one, two, three, four. Fifth one's down here. Yeah, by the endless gate, yo. I like couldn't find this one for the longest time. I was like so confused. I was like, what the heck? Why can't I find it? But it's all the way down here. Basically, uh, some of these do have some cave structures. So if you feel like you're right on top of it, it could be above or below you. So just keep that in mind. All right, here at Ikora, let's check out her meditation missions this time around. Essentially, complete meditations, get Vanguard Research Tokens to get this OG gear. This gear will not be here for long. Once Forsaken is in, these will be gone. So, basically, let's see what we have. Fury, Payback, The Gateway, and then Will of a Thousand. So, yeah, complete these, get the tokens, and then if you want this OG gear, just to rank her up for fun, go for it. We got Benedict down here in his little cave. Let's see what he has raid-wise um, for all that stuff. All right, let's see. Helmet for the Spire of Stars. It looks like we have the Spire of Stars gauntlets as well. Prestige Raid chest piece, Eater World's boots, and then the normal Leviathan Raid class item for all the classes. And then lastly, you have the It Stare Back Sword. This is one of the better PvE swords just because it has Relentless Strikes. Landing three light attack hits within a short time grants sword ammo. So being able to get that sword down on the back is pretty awesome. Plus, I mean, look at this thing. Cosmetically, amazing. Pretty high efficiency as well. So you definitely can use this thing in the crucible but if you want this thing or if you don't have it you can either complete leviathan raid have a chance for this thing to drop or you can just complete leviathan raid and then come back here and pick it up all right here eververse let's check out what she has obviously she does not have the prismatic matrix anymore all she has are the bright dust purchases all right and you have this stuff up here as well obviously you can purchase the uh engrams and whatnot for uh, silver and whatnot. Looks like we have the iron emote bundle. It is back again. You can buy this emote. It makes me kind of salty that you actually have to buy it. Like I wish it was earnable in Iron Banner like as a drop or something but still this thing looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty awesome. You get that Iron Lord axe just like you did in Destiny 1. Pretty insane. 
But let's check out the rest of the stuff. Basically, anything under Bright Dust purchases can be purchased with Bright Dust, which can be attained by dismantling anything from a Bright Engram. All right, let's check out the emotes. We have the Festival Dance emote. I actually got this thing on the first day. Makes you look like a dang chicken. All right, moving on, we have the Teamwork Dance, the Aggressively Affirmative Dance, the Blacklight Razor Sparrow, this thing. I just got this thing. It looks pretty sick. Ooh, I like those lights. All right, next sparrow, we have the Bolt Crackle. Uh, Ghostwise, we have the Predator Sun Shell. This is an exotic shell. Uh, let's check out the perk comes with Public Defender. Increase loot from public events on all destinations. So, plus, I mean, this thing looks pretty freaking sweet, dude. Ugh. I really like that shell. Glad I got it early. All right, then we have the Citrine Sway Ghost Shell, the exotic weapon ornament called the Beach Header 6 for the Merciless Fusion Rifle. Kind of makes it look a little rustic. Ooh, I definitely like that, dude. That looks pretty cool up there. Definitely a little little bit uh, worn down, but still looks pretty awesome. Obviously, you have the Arc Glow Pack for the day. Those will change every day from Arc, Solar, and Void. Transmat Effect Wise, we have Guardian Blue and Arc Effects. Shaders, we have Vanguard Magnus Gloss, Tarnished Copper, Metro Shift, and Arctic Pearl. And then, obviously, you have the Boons of the Vanguard and the Crucible, and then the Fire Team Medallion up for sale. Iron Banner is back, and I do want to go over the stuff that he has for Season 3 specifically. So once you hit rank 10, you can pick up all this Iron Banner armor, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You can pick up all this stuff and then work your way toward getting these ornaments right here. So for the class item, it says earn ranks in the Iron Banner. You just have to earn rank 5, and then you have the sidearm, Allied Demand. Not a very good sidearm, just the forewarning. All right, rank 10, you have the, what is this? The ornament for the leg armor, defeat Iron Banner enemies with supers, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Sorry, it's only 100 kills, so nothing too crazy. Also, you can get the sniper again. Sniper is not very good. Sorry to disappoint. Rank 15, you can get the Gauntlet. So complete challenges in the Iron Banner during Season 3. This one's very, very easy. Just complete the daily challenge. And you should be able to get this one, like, really, really easily, to be honest. Like, this is probably the easiest one that I got. And then, also rank 15, you get the submachine gun. This thing is interesting. So it does more crit damage than it does body shot damage. So very, very different archetype for the 900 round per minute. There's two different archetypes within it. One does more crit damage and less body shot. And then one does uh, a little less hedge, a little less crit damage, but a little more body shot. So it kind of evens out. Uh, this one is definitely very interesting. This is probably one of the better weapons to pick up out of the loot pool. So yeah, looks like for the chest armor, defeat iron banner enemies with power weapons. Definitely rock something like shotgun fusion rifle something that comes with multiple shots so you can try to get this thing done as quickly as possible and then also at rank 20 you can get this hand cannon the finite impactor i'm pretty i'm guessing on these ranks just a forewarning uh finite impactor hand cannon comes with snapshot which is really good for hand cannons um this is probably one of the better again one of the better weapons to pick up i know hand cannons really aren't a great place right now but they three tap in forsaken so this thing actually might come in handy all right, for the helmet ornament, win matches in Iron Banner. Gotta win 25 matches just like you did in Season 2. Also, you can pick up the Rocket Launcher, the Shining Sphere. Not a good Rocket Launcher. Don't worry about it. All right, and then I'm pretty sure once you hit rank 30 or something like that, you can pick up the Dark Decider Auto Rifle. <clears throat> This is a Vice Auto Rifle, obviously 720 rounds per minute. Because of the high caliber rounds and, um, what is it, auto loading holster, this is definitely more of a PvE oriented auto rifle. I know a lot of people on PC use the Valkaden and the Perseverance and stuff like that, so I think this thing would come in handy right beside those ones as well. Obviously, you could pick up the Emblem and the Ship as well once you hit uh, the max rank. I'm pretty sure it's rank like 35 or something to pick these up. Alright guys, this seems to be it for the video. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below to say best way to support me. If you want to go check that out, that'd be awesome. But if you don't want to do it, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, turn the notification bell next, to subscribe if you want to be notified when I drop some new content on the channel. And then comment y'all want to see below again. I'm making content for you, so whatever you want to see, I will try to get out there as quickly as possible. Also, we have the Discord link below. If you want to join Discord, that'd be cool. I also have some text chats going about Destiny 2 Forsaken, some upcoming games such as Division 2 and Anthem. We also have some voice chats, so if you want to talk to me, that's gonna be the best way to do that. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.